That is plastic crust. It's a completely new type of plastic pollution that has been discovered on a Portuguese island northwest of Africa. In the 21st century, scientists are mostly used to measuring the impacts humans are having on the world, but this discovery surprised the researchers. The discovery was made in Madeira, which is an island chain in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Africa. They were once called the Isles of the Blessed by sailors in ancient times, and more recently were colonized by Portugal in the 1400s. This is a lost world of sorts, and most impressively, it is home to a unique kind of tropical forest called the Lori Silva, estimated to be almost 2 million years old. Understandably, this area is a hot spot for scientific research. The Marine and Environmental Sciences Center is one such research group operating on the island. That half rock, half plastic we mentioned earlier, it was just discovered by them. They first noticed a strange new type of plastic pollution in 2016, when rocks on the southern coast of the island were found covered with a plastic crust. They hypothesized the substance they called plastic crust formed when polluted ocean waves crashed against the rock's surface. After just three years, the plastic has now grown from a handful to 10% of the rocks surveyed. That's another good look at it, which as you can see is colored blue and white. Spectroscopy analysis identified all of it as coming from polyethylene plastic. That's the main ingredient in plastic bags and bottles. The photos may make it look like this isn't a big deal, but scientists are concerned that the plastic is impacting local sea life. They found one species of sea snail hanging out on top of it in the same numbers that they were living on the normal rocks. Given that these snails eat diatoms and algae that come from the tide, the team is concerned that the animals may be eating the plastic too. As you can imagine, this is a part of a bigger issue where plastic is having an enormous impact on the marine web of life. Rocks composed of melted plastic and sand, for example, have washed up on Hawaiian beaches in the last few years. Every year, 8 million tons of plastic enter our oceans. This would just about cover the entire 234 square mile city of Chicago under one foot of garbage. That's every year. You can understand then why scientists think total plastic in the ocean is expected to outweigh fish by the year 2050. Thankfully, there is hope that the problem can be fixed. One company, called the Ocean Cleanup, is now carrying out the largest ocean cleanup in human history. Last year, it began using special technology to clean up the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. That's one of five large garbage patches in the ocean. Trash collects in these areas due to ocean currents. The company thinks it can clean up the entire Pacific Garbage Patch in 10 years. They've raised $35 million so far, and assuming they continue operating, they think a plastic-free ocean by 2050 is possible. Their website is listed in the description. If you wish to learn more about the study, that's also in the video description. We're a new science channel dedicated to covering each week's most interesting discoveries, many of which the news media has missed. If you wish to keep learning about studies like this, subscribe.